Toxic Chemicals Toxic chemicals are substances that interact with cells and organs and potentially lead to tissue damages. The effects are typically not general to all tissues, but targeted to specific ones. For example, ethyl methane sulfonate and ethyl nitrosoluria are mutagens that targets DNA. Benzidine and methyl coromethyl ether are suspected to cause cancers. Acetonitrile and coroform are termed teratogen, which can impact fetal development. Finally, ethylene oxide and lead are toxic substances that target reproductive organs and cells. Mishandling of toxic chemicals can be very dangerous. There was a tragic incident in 1996 occurred at Dartmouth College. Professor Waterhan was a professor of chemistry in that college. She was best known in the research on mechanisms on metal toxicity. In an occasion, she transferred dimethyl mercury by a pipette. Unfortunately, some drops fell on her gloved hand by accident. She took off the gloves instantly and washed her hands. She experienced no symptom for five months before she suffered from neurological problems such as tangling and difficulty in speaking. She was later diagnosed with mercury poisoning. Despite aggressive chelation therapy, she died of serious brain disease after 10 months. From this incident, it tells us that accidents can occur to anyone, even the most experienced scientists. When handling of toxic chemicals, personal protective equipment such as lab coats, goggles, and gloves are mandatory. There are various types of gloves. Most common ones are natural rubber latex, nitrile, and strengthened nitrile. Before handling the toxic chemicals, the user should be familiar with the toxicological information which is obtainable at the MSDS. Let's take a look on the MSDS of dimethyl mercury. Under section 2, it talks about the hazard identification that contains hazard labels and its danger upon absorption and injection. Under section 11, it mentions about toxicological information with numerical data. However, when it writes no data available, it doesn't mean it is non-toxic. Finally, there are some useful hints on using toxic chemicals. The first one is seek for alternative. For instance, benzene is a common organic solvent and well known for its carcinogenic property. It can be replaced with toluene, which is less toxic. The second one is to work with toxic chemicals inside a film hood. Lastly, have a planning in case of emergency or spillage, such as, is sulfur readily inflammable in case of mercury spillage? If you are uncertain with the chemical handling, do find a trained personnel for assistance.